Norma Sykes Balding, we're back, bare bones, broadcasting on radio, broadcasting, and thank you, YouTube. Well, I'm, I'm warming up for my radio spot. Just rehearsing now. Hope you can bear with me. Like all good people on radio, I have the defect. Dinky sheets. You gotta have the defect. Well, I got it. Now, I had the defect before I got here, as far as I'm concerned. I'm genetic defects. I had the defect carrying it right through genetics. And especially the possibility of it. What aroused it, I'll be darned to know, really, to tell the truth. And lots of things, I guess. I could blame it on this and that. There were the many things that came together just precisely to make the impossible take place. Birth defect. It's impossible. And here I are. Story of my life. Now, I'm sure people who know me before I'm here as Norman Woodstock Spalding are going, what the hell happened? <laughs> what happened? I don't know. His wife left him. He just flipped. I just flipped for a matter. I flipped for I, my family went to hell on me and it's knocked me backwards. I didn't expect it. I really didn't. I've been with some very priceless people that aren't with me now. And I'm really shook up about that. And they're not real happy either. None of them. And I'm shook up about that. Yeah, I am. I'm headed for the grave and I don't like leaving a trail of that crap behind me. Not at all. No. Only I realized that I carried very similar baggage before I even met them. So they ain't, they ain't no cherry. I always flip and shook up for a met them, and they knew that. Every one of them. And I told them that very first. And everyone knows that, and it's very, been always very open in my private life. Everyone knows it. And they've misdiagnosed it and called me names. That's why, you know how wonderful the United States government staff is? I explained that to them. I'm sure they researched it and did, and double-checked my story, and have more sympathy for me than I do for myself. Well, you're telling me where I'm at, the rest of this planet. You have a nation, your nation's government staff do that for you. Know more about you than you know about yourself and have great passion for you, for your merits and your struggles and everything about you. You say about your nation, can you? Well, I can say that about here. I lay on my face and I know I don't have the brains to appreciate it. I don't. I don't. I'm too stupid. So I give it what I got. And the first thing I admit is that. But I don't believe that I'm going to fail appreciating that. I am. I'll make, meet my maker a failure over that and appreciating the, the wits it took to build this planet and cosmos. I don't have the brains to appreciate the wit of this. And that's the first thing I want the Lord realize that. Blam! My God! My maker was carrying on like a fool. You only know that because I told you. And you brought it to me and you don't know what it does for me! It worked! It worked. So you know not much is expected here out of you, is it? You tell me this is, ah, it's simple. More simple than you and it starts with a confession that you really don't have it. And that you failed it. And I approached my military the same. I never had it, and I failed it. I failed to appreciate you. And appreciate the position you're in. I'm sorry. You know what the military did to me? <laughs> Treat me like a mascot. I find wit and sense of humor with the United States military that doesn't live with any church group. That's for sure. And especially about the same subject that the church group is about. The military is way ahead of you. Ha! Way behind you and all around you. Church group. Ha! You ain't living up to the military staff. They make, they surround you like wonderful children in a grump. When you look at the church staff, they're grumpy. When you look at the military staff, full of joy. Facing death for fools. Against other fools doing the same. Why? Failure to confess. That's why. Citizenship, confession, failure. Three and one half billion years. While 
I'm here to get it going. Now, do you hate your government? Do you? Why? You're the bigger failure. What's filling this planet? Government or citizenship? Which one? What has to happen first and foremost and last? Hate your government? Dummy? Well, I'm here as a monarch to tell you that citizenship I have to have or don't tell me I'm anything. I'm a puppet and a fool, no matter what I am. Well, without the citizenship, they'll rip my hide right off me. Who will? The lazy, the occupying, the tail of the kite will turn it up and shred the kite to pieces. When the head of the kite isn't honest with itself. The, and the tail will always hang on. Always. Those are the, the, what do you call them, the brain? Brain? No. Brain is stumbling with one word. Whoa! The skeptics are the tail of your kite. It comes out of genetics. In a family, some of the children are skeptics. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. And the others have to carry that weight and not get mad at them for it. Because they could change as they get older. It's part of maturity. Oh, this is... Oh, in this case, the kite is a living human thing. And pretty soon, you know, the tail is turning into the head and they're you know, back and forth. Sometimes you end up the tail. Sometimes you're on the head. You don't know where you're going to be. Come maturity with yourself. Was Abraham ever a skeptic of himself? Faith. Bah! In the Jewish religion, the counselor taught me, and it cost me quite a bit. I even had to talk to a man asleep. In the Jewish religion, well, he was asleep because he was so casual about his job. It had nothing to do with his stupidity. Even though he was stupid. <laughs> Just like me, that's what I came to confess. I wanted a diagnosis of my stupidity. He really didn't know how to give it to me. Because he was too stupid himself. We shall end up finding, when you go to some council, you realize it. Church religion, he taught me, faith and Messiah are optional. Which I don't find them optional. As you mature in the Jewish religion, they ain't optional at all. Nothing is. Is duty optional? A pre-written script of contribution optional? No options at all. In the Jewish religion, there are no options. You give to your rot. <laughs> yeah. You love worms. <laughs> you eat them as they eat you. I don't know what you did, you're dead. And you accept what lives right in front of you when you're Jewish. It's just like when you're Chinese. You live with it. You're honest with it. You glee with it. You let your three-year-old live forever. That's what you do. And you stay curious like a three-year-old all your life. That is maturity. Now, you can back up more from that. Fine. The Buddha said you ain't going to get more than that. Sorry. He had a stroke. All of it meant nothing, he said. <laughs> Three years old, here I am, and by God, that's plenty good for everything. But he said, Buddhist. Wonderful man. Buddhist, monk, priest, high, mucky muck with a stroke. He ran the whole thing. Had a stroke. Came back to tell you what it meant. My face hits the floor with things like that. How about you? Especially when I'm a monarch. And have to get this place chirping. As it always was, and always will, and always shall be. A chirping, wonderful bunch of canaries. Priceless. But it's my job to you to help you remember that. Live it. Oh.